Mike Mew from Alter Tropics is one of the biggest game changers on YouTube right now, in my opinion, and there are a couple great reasons why. Today I want to explain you on the example of Mike Mew, how you can succeed in what you do by starting a movement and facing the truth, even though it may hurt. Number 1. First Principles The world is round and Earth is not the center of the universe. These have been daunting words to write in the 16th century, but guess what? Copernicus did it anyway. Your facial features can be influenced by your behavior and crooked teeth are not natural. It's the same risky statement nowadays. But it too can be explained by first principles. Same as the round earth can be proved by geometry, the science of orthotropics can be made clear by using Newton's third law. There's three ways we can prove a point, by anecdotes which are personal stories, studies which is a detailed analysis of a subject, or by using first principles. When you explain a topic by first principles, which Mike Mew from Autotropics is doing, you take a problem and cut it down to the parts that you know that are true. If our tongue presses against the wrong point in our mouth, we will develop an unattractive face over time. Our face gets longer and we don't get developed cheekbones, because of the continuous force applied to the lower part of our face. If we instead make it a habit to push our tongue against the top of our mouth with our tongue muscle, we might get a change in facial structure over time. This is the physical principle of Newton, explaining action and reaction. The best and most effective way to explain the things that we're doing is by using detailed data, acquired by studies. The second best thing, especially if it's a new field with a lack of funding, is using first principles, which our boy Mike is doing. Number two, push through adversity. Whenever we do something new, we will always be faced with adversity. From our colleagues, friends and maybe even our family. This is completely natural and it seems to be the universe's way of testing us if we truly want the results bad enough. If you want to start a business, a fitness regime or implement a healthier lifestyle, expect that most people want to see you fail. The reason is that if you succeed, their place in the social hierarchy diminishes because it will seem that they've done the wrong thing. Or they might be losing a lot of money because if you succeed. This is the case in Mike Mew's colleagues. Mike from Autotropics was expelled from the British Orthodontic Society because of his pledging of a brace-free way of fixing crooked teeth. He even had to fear the society taking his livelihood away because of his scientific belief and this practice of freedom of speech. Same as Mike, we need to see those setbacks as sacrifices on our way to a better self and a better theory. Number 3. Face the truth I would love to be wrong, but I fear I'm not. This is one of the most dangerous sentences that you can hear, especially if it comes from a specialist. Because it indicates a person that is not afraid to face the truth, even though it might hurt. Mike from Autotropics is a third generation dentist, meaning his father and his grandfather both served in the same field of work. If you stumble upon a truth that might be controversial or uncomfortable, face it head on. Angelina Jolie did this when she decided to remove both her breasts because of her increased cancer risk and listen to the data. Martin Luther did this when he realized that the church is exploiting people and decided to start a reform. Elon Musk did this when he realized that no one is going to space and decided to build his own space rocket while nearly going bankrupt. Mike Mew did this when he realized that teeth and even our face can be changed by our behavior even though most of his colleagues thought otherwise. Facing the truth is never comfortable and it's not what we're naturally inclined to do. But in facing truth lies greatness. Facing the truth makes us free. Facing the truth is the only way we can start a movement and succeed in what we do. We need to know our strengths, weaknesses and the adversity that we are going to face. Copernicus would have loved to disregard the theory of a round earth and live a comfortable life without adversity, but we are glad that he didn't. Good theory backed by first principles is a great fundament for a game changer. The rest will come over time if you push through adversity and continue facing the truth. If Mike Mew continues to push forward with his practices, 
yes, not only with his tongue, and funds competent peer review studies in the future, it's likely that the school kids in 20 years will learn about orthotropics and facial growth. Until then, we might add one to two facial exercise to our daily staple, you know, just to be sure. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health, and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.